So you're into self-improvement, but for some reason you can't stay disciplined. You can't show up, you can't just work out six times a week like you set yourself to. Where you wanted to start that YouTube channel, but you're only posting once a month. Where your goal was two times per week. So how do you remain consistent? How do you remain disciplined in this modern day and age? Now I'm gonna break this video into two parts. The first part is how to stay disciplined with your habits, and two, is how to stay disciplined when you have some sort of weekly or monthly goal, like uploading two times per week. So first of all, how to stay disciplined with your habits. You need a habit tracker to stay disciplined and consistent with your habits. And not only do you need a habit tracker, you need something to put on your wall. You need to put it on your wall so everyone can see. Everyone can see when you missed your habits. Anyone could see where you did your habits. And so you're literally putting it on the wall so everyone can see including yourself. So you wake up in the morning, you see that you missed the habit yesterday. You see that you didn't read, you didn't do this habit. And so you're gonna feel a little shitty about yourself the next day you're gonna do it. So put a habit tracker on your wall. It's really not difficult to create a habit tracker. And all it really has is the dates on the left and on the top, you're gonna write all your habits. I'll show you right now a picture how mine looks. So yesterday, the 20th of February, I didn't complete all my habits. You could see, I'm, I'm showing you the picture right now. I'll be completely authentic with you. I didn't read yesterday. I didn't visualize. I didn't do a cold shower. And so what am I gonna do today? When I look at the habit tracker and I see the red X that I put for yesterday, I'm gonna make sure to do it today. I'm gonna make sure that it's not gonna happen again. Because to me, it's an embarrassment. I don't want so many red Xs, so many missed habits. So this is the perfect way and, and the best way for me to stay disciplined with my habits, to keep consistent, because you can see the habit tracker in front of you. Don't hide it, don't put it on, in your cabinet, don't put it in your computer on Notion. Put it where you could see it, or else you're not gonna touch it. I tried putting it on Notion or the Notes app, and I just didn't look at it, I didn't use it really, I forgot about it. But when it's in front of you, you can't miss it. You can't miss the habit tracker. You're gonna stay disciplined, because you set yourself to do X habits every day. And so you're gonna make sure to complete them because it's on your wall, it's right in front of you. So this is how to stay consistent with daily habits like meditation, journaling, gratitude, working out, etc. So how do you stay consistent with like a weekly goal? So for example, my weekly goal is to complete at least two uploads per week on my channel. Upload at least two videos every week. So yours could be going to the gym, six times a week. That's honestly been my goal for a while before the YouTube channel. So what you're gonna do is, same with the habit tracker, it's gonna look similar, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get another piece of paper, you're gonna put it on your wall, and you're gonna, on top, you're gonna put the goal. So six times a week workout, or two times a week, I'm gonna upload a YouTube video. And so you're literally gonna, for every week, you're gonna put a checkbox. For every week in February, for March, for April, for June, for July, for August, until you run out of space. I'll show you a picture right now how I structure it. But it's very simple. You basically just add a check whenever you complete it that week and just tally it up every time you complete a workout or a YouTube video, etc. This is similar to the habit tracker in the way that you see it in front of you. Right, you can't hide it. You see if you failed this week, you see if you didn't, and your mind just kind of wants to do it because it's right in front of your face. You're not gonna miss it. So this is how you should tackle weekly goals, like working out X times a week, or doing this habit six times a week, something like that. Something that you want to make sure that you do X times per week. So what I did, I did the same thing with YouTube. And so I'll be honest, you can look at my YouTube history or YouTube uploads. And you could see that I started this channel in April or even March of 2021. So that was a while ago. And honestly, I've been trying to do this channel for a while and I was never consistent. Why? Because I just didn't set it on my wall. I didn't set the intention. I never had a goal to complete two uploads per week. So how do I expect myself to upload consistently if that was never a clear goal and never something that was obvious. I remember the author of Atomic Habits, he talks about how you need to make it attractive, you need to make it visible to be consistent with a habit. 
you need to make it visible. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm making sure that it's visible. My goal is visible in front of my face. That way I'm not going to miss it. And I'm going to make sure I'm consistent with my YouTube uploads. So you could see that I didn't miss a week since I started this tracker. As I told you, I really tried to start a YouTube channel for so long and it's always been on my head and I was never consistent because I never set that intention to be consistent. So this leads me to my next question and it's how bad do you want it? I noticed that I missed a lot of days where I didn't upload in weeks. You could see by the timeline of my YouTube channel, you could see that I've been very inconsistent when it started out and only recently I've been trying to be consistent. And so back to the question, how bad do you want it? For me, I want it bad. I want to be consistent with my YouTube channel so it could grow because I know otherwise the channel is not going to grow if you're not going to put yourself out there, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it, it's not what I'm feeling right now, but I do it anyway. How bad do you want to work out six times a week, seven times a week? Because if you don't want it bad, someone's going to outwork you. Someone like me is going to put on his wall a tracker, a habit tracker for two times a week. I'm going to upload three times a week. I'm going to upload. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just trying to say that you, you should want it bad. If you don't want it bad, then you're probably not going to make the extra effort to put that on your wall. Because let's be honest, how many people do this? How many people that you know, put on their wall, a habit tracker, where they put some sort of piece of paper to make sure they post on YouTube two times a week or to make sure they're consistent with their workout six times a week. The average person doesn't do this. He doesn't care. Why? Because they probably don't want it bad enough. And if they did want it bad enough, then they would do that. They would listen to my advice. But if you're listening to this advice and you're going to be like, oh no, like I'm just, I'm fine. I don't need that kind of stuff. I'll, I'm probably going to do it anyway. I'm going to work out six times a week. Don't be surprised when you're not going to hit that six workout. Don't be surprised because I've been there before. It's not easy to be consistent with the gym that much. It's not easy to post on YouTube two times a week. If you don't have some sort of thing to keep you accountable, it doesn't have to be a person. It has to be some sort of thing like this piece of paper I'm recommending. It's really not hard, but it all comes back to the question of how bad do you want it? If you don't want it bad enough, then you know, too bad. You're not going to hit that goal. Yes. There is a point where you're not going to need these tools because at the end of the day, they are tools. They are things that help you like the, Oh, I'm going to upload two times a week. It, it, that's a tool, right? That piece of paper is a tool that helps me. But at the end of the day, when you're so consistent, when you build that habit, it's going to come natural to you at a certain time, especially when your subscribers pick up and you're, you have people waiting for your content, etc. But especially in the early stages, right? The early stages of starting a YouTube channel, the early stages of working out, you don't have that momentum. You don't have that momentum to carry you forward. And so you need some so, sort of external thing to help you. So I hope the habit tracker is going to help you as well as the weekly goal. That paper I told you about where you're going to write about a habit that you want to complete X times per week. So again, thank you for watching. Click the link in the description for a 12 page free gratitude ebook. And I'll see you guys next time.